These are the definitions of sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Also, the rainbow tells us kind of the identities that you can flip them over and, and have the, the, the cotangent, secant, cosecant written in terms of everything else, right? The only thing I care about is that you know sine and cosine. Everything else is coming from that information. But these definitions that we have here on the board, they're the exact same definitions that we used before. The only slight difference now is that because we're letting the angle go anywhere instead of just staying in quadrant one, the X and Y values of a point on the terminal line here, they can be positive or negative. In quadrant one, they're always positive for both X and Y, but as you go around, the X and Y values can change positive, negative, and that means that all of these trig functions can be positive or negative depending on what quadrant you are in. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.